Amber, on the other hand, would say she's effortlessly fantastic. And Tony, who actually, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was saying. Do you guys have questions? I know you do. Come on. Come on. Any questions? Yeah. Um, so I know sort of some of what you've done in the past. I was curious what you're working on now or what you, some future projects are for you. Um, well, a couple of films that I did last year um, are now looking to find their homes this year. Um, one of them in particular, which I'm really, really proud of because it's amazing and original and awesome and a great cast called Timer. Um, it just recently had its premiere at the Tribeca Film Festival, and it was just overwhelmed. It was just, it was just amazing, the response from the film. And, uh, it just won Best Film last week, actually, as well. Uh, and uh, it's now in the hands of CAA, which probably means nothing to any of you. <laughs> Um, that's really good. That's like the best hands it can get in. So, um, you know, we're all pretty confident that it will be in your local Cineplex by the end of this year. I mean, that's how it's looking currently. So we're all very happy about that. Um, and it's, it, it has something, I think, for everybody. Because it's a comedy, but it's also got that sci-fi twinge to it, which of course is my favorite genre in the entire world, love it, um, particularly when it's done well, and um, it is with that, so that's good. So I've been off doing my actor duties, helping with that as well, going to the festivals and doing the interviews and whatever, and there's another one called Why Am I Doing This, which is a much smaller budget, but ridiculous comedy um, that's also doing very well um, and just getting great reviews. and play an absolute asshole. <laughs> a nightmare, like the worst kind of Hollywood scumbag actress, party girl, coke whore, uh, awful. <laughs> um, which was really fun to do. Um, so there's that, and uh, I've also been writing quite a bit with my writing partner, who's brilliant, and um, that is also doing very, very well. Um, one of those things has sort of morphed into this life which we didn't expect, um, which is now going to be a web comic. And that we were hoping to have ready to launch by this convention, but it's not. It probably won't be ready until the beginning of August. Um, but that is called Contrapussy. You heard me right? That is the name. <laughs> not controversy, Contrapussy. Um, and it centers around clearly a controversial cat and uh, <laughs> her band of, you know, troublemakers, which includes another hairless cat, a stray cat, um, a freed, imprisoned parrot, like a, you know, like a, a tropical parrot that should never have been ever caged, so clearly has issues. Um, Scums. I mean, just like wildlife, like urban life, like stuff you see. Essentially, looking outside my window, because um, I do. I see coyotes, and I see skunks, and I see cats, and I see dogs. Just it's one of those weird Los Angeles things. They're just that's just what you see all the time. And birds that sh clearly have been imported from Colombia that are now free, roaming around who don't belong in Los Angeles. So we. Um, we took that and gave them life, and um, it sort of explores the human animal through human eyes. Completely subversive, perverted, offensive, my kind of product, totally. Um, we spare no one. Everyone gets skewered, and everyone at some point, I'm sure, will be offended. So, awesome. <laughs> uh, so that's gonna launch very, very soon, so contrapussy.com, you can start to enjoy it. Uh, but again, we didn't anticipate it going that route, but it has, and it's, it's great. Um, and we have some uh, two screenplays, which are also comedies with 
clearly an edge, because I just can't seem to do anything other than that, um, that uh, are, are doing very, very well. That are, um, we have producers attached to them, and you know, they're, they're off and running, slowly but surely, but it's really good. And I, and I enjoy that, I think, much more than I do being in front of the camera, to be honest. You know, you kind of get spoiled working with Joss, so once you do that, everything else, almost everything else is like, <sighs> you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like you've flown first class and you're asked to be, you know, back, like go back to coach. Like, that's how most work is after you've done, you know, what I got to do for five years. So, but writing on the other hand, you know, completely different beast and very much enjoying it. So, that's a very long answer to a question <laughs> that you asked like 10 minutes ago. Thank you. You're welcome.